and it's my airport jacket, but it belonged to an ex-boyfriend. <gasps> That's. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. Boy oh boy, do I have a topic for you. Today, we are going to be talking about the oh-so-fabulous and yet oh-so-sketchy Priyanka Chopra. Ever since I did a video named 10 Shady Things About Meghan Markle, a lot of you guys started requesting shady things about other people, and one of them was Priyanka. This is going to be an interesting video because I feel like no one has ever done any research on her. We saw her with Nick Jonas and went, great, perfect, love it, let's move on. And that was that. But there are a lot of shady things about Priyanka that we just don't talk about. Affairs, tax evasion, sex trap, and more. These are just a few of the topics American media has never spoken about. Make sure to watch till the end because we are saving the most scandalous tea for last. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And let me know down in the comments below what videos you guys want to see next. Number one, having affairs with married Bollywood actors. Now, before I start, let me clarify something. This is not to put all the blame on her and praise the men. It takes two to tango. We are just letting you guys know one of the reasons Priyanka isn't well liked in Bollywood anymore. First, we have Akshay Kumar. This affair started while they were filming their movie, Atroz. Akshay and Priyanka's romance was one that flooded the tabloids in the early 2000s. While they were filming, onlookers reported that they were constantly hanging out on set away from their scenes. And this eventually led to a huge fight with him and his wife, Twinkle Khanna. One night, when Akshay and Twinkle were dining in a restaurant, they reportedly had a huge fight about his affair with Priyanka. A guest who was at the restaurant reported to the tabloids what they heard. The fight happened in full public view, and as both Akshay and Twinkle screamed at each other, one got the distinctive impression that he had admitted to having an affair with Priyanka Chopra. Oh my, it gets worse. Since then, it's been rumored that Twinkle forbade Akshay from ever working with Priyanka again. However, there is more to the story. People loved Akshay and Priyanka's on-screen pairing, and so they were casted together in a couple of other movies. In 2003, when they were starring in the movie In Daz, it was reported that Twinkle became increasingly jealous and suspicious of Priyanka, to the point where she told him to stay away from her. Sources who were there told IB Times that Twinkle and Priyanka had a huge fight over the phone, where Twinkle was so fed up with her, she wanted to physically attack her. They said that Twinkle immediately stormed over to the set of Whacked the Race Against Time, but couldn't find Priyanka. Instead, she found her husband, which led to a massive argument between them, and thus filming was cut short that day. The following day, Akshay issued an official statement claiming that he will not accept any work alongside Priyanka. So even at the peak of their movie careers, they stopped associating together, which makes everyone believe the story of Twinkle's involvement. This brings us to man number two, and that is none other than legendary Bollywood actor Shahrukh Khan Khan aka SRK. SRK and Priyanka worked together on the movie Dawn 2 and everyone said they got along great together. So great that they were even spotted together at 3am. When they got backlash for their 3am rendezvous, they said they were rehearsing lines for a movie. Right, rehearsing lines for a movie at 3am. That's not suspicious at all. SRK has been married to Gari Khan since 1991, and you can already imagine how displeased she was with her close relationship. Sources have been saying that SRK was strictly warned by Gauri to never be seen with Priyanka ever again. The movie that they were working on at the time was called Agnipath and was released in 2012. 
Agni Path also starred another Bollywood legend, Harithik Roshan. At the time, Harithik was married to Suzanne. Now here is where it gets a little funny. Suzanne and SRK's wife, Gauri, had a girl squad that they invited Priyanka to be a part of. So the three of them had a little girl gang that consisted of a few other members. Priyanka's involvement with the girl squad fell out because of her rumored affair with SRK. It was rumored that Gauri removed Priyanka from her Christmas party guest list, even though Priyanka's PR team didn't quite agree with that statement. Since Agni Path was a huge success, a party was thrown to celebrate. Apparently, Suzanne got Priyanka removed from the guest list of the party because of the rumored affair with SRK. She got her thrown out of her own movie party. Now, keep in mind that around this time, Priyanka was still considered a newcomer and she was already messing with families who have been around since the 90s. A source close to the media said it was weird not seeing Priyanka at the celebration party of her own film. The affair between them basically gets confirmed by Priyanka later on in an attempt that was not at all subtle and seemed a bit shady. In 2017, she was on InStyle series called Dirty Laundry, where she spoke about how she kept a leather jacket of an ex-boyfriend. When asked about the leather jacket, she said, And it's my airport jacket, but it belonged to an ex-boyfriend. <gasps> <That's... laughs> Stop being here is like after it stayed back at my house once and then I just kind of wore it. Then... Did he ever want it back? He asked for it and I said no. I was like, no, that's what happens in relationships. Sorry. He asked for it and I said no. I was like, no, that's what happens in relationships. Sorry. And then to make matters even worse, she literally put on the jacket, and that's when the world connected the dots that it was SRK's jacket. I guess she felt pretty safe in a completely different country where no Bollywood wives can get her kicked out of another party. Apparently, she also liked and unliked a fan's tweet connecting the dots. This leads us to our next point, number two. Priyanka getting blacklisted from all of Bollywood. Going back to the movie Agni Path, one of the producers was Karan Johar, who was a big time producer in India. Word has it that he and Gauri are pretty good friends and he made sure to never work with Priyanka ever again since the SRK scandal. So while Priyanka was going around talking about her new project with Karan, he came out to say that he doesn't know what she's talking about and has no plans to work with her in the future or now. A source told TOI, PC is upset and flummoxed by the campaign unleashed by a powerful producer slash director who can make and break careers in Hollywood. That's when Karan exploded and took to Twitter to call Priyanka spineless and to say that she's using her PR team to get news into the tabloids. To add on to her Hollywood blacklisting, there are reports saying that Priyanka is being replaced by a different Indian actress for Dawn 3 instead of continuing on her role as she was the main actress in Dawn 2. In 2019, when asked about possibly working with SRK again on Dawn 3, Priyanka said, You will have to ask the producers that. No one has spoken to me about it. It's been almost 10 years. Priyanka and Karan hashed out their differences in a phone call where Karan told TOI, I picked up the phone and reacted like a pressure cooker. <laughs> then I realized it wasn't worth it. I called her and said I was turning 40. I have a great EQ with her. I've shared several warm moments with PC. Since I am the older one, I decided to be mature. But I guess Priyanka didn't really need to keep the nice act up when it came to her wedding with Nick Jonas, where Karan wasn't invited. When asked about this, she spoke about an elaborate plan set in motion by Serena Williams, where they took all the guests' phones away, and each person had an assigned bag, and that Karan wouldn't have given her his phone, so she didn't invite him. Uh, yeah, cause that doesn't sound completely ridiculous. Number 3. Tax Evasion and Romance with Shahid Kapoor This one is a hilarious story, for us, not Priyanka. In India, the equivalence of the IRS in America is called IT, which stands for Income Tax. Priyanka was involved in a federal investigation with IT. In 2011, there was an IT raid at her house. The feds literally raided her house, and who opened the door for them? None other than Shahid Kapoor. Shahid and Priyanka were linked together for a long time, yet neither of them confirmed their relationship. 
And yet in 2019, Shahid was on the show Coffee with Quran. Yes, the same Quran who helped blacklist Priyanka. And there he confirmed their relationship. Luckily for them, he wasn't married back when IT raided her house in 2011. Back to the raid, this was a huge scandal because she was evading tax. Apparently neither her or her family paid their taxes and instead have been rumored to be buying property under fake names. An IT official told the media, shocked as we were, we knew we had a raid to carry out and that's precisely what we did. It was meant to be a swift operation and security personnel in the building were not given a chance to warn the actor that we were on our way up. This is all too funny. On one hand, you have IT shocked by the scandal standing right before them, and then on the other hand, you have IT talking to the media about it. If only Hollywood was this visibly dramatic, can you imagine the fun we would have? Back to the IT raid. Shahid wasn't dressed uh, appropriately, seeing as he was probably in bed with Priyanka. He greeted the IT officials in shorts, and as soon as he got dressed, he left the house. Priyanka later tried to change the narrative by saying that she was alone at her home and called Shahid over because he was her neighbor. She claims he stayed with her the whole time while the IT department said otherwise. Sources in the IT department also said that Shahid was present when IT rang her doorbell and that both Shahid and Priyanka were quite shocked by the raid. Shahid could not leave immediately so he remained there for some time. IT reportedly found 60 million rupee hidden under her mattress. When asked about all of this in 2011, Priyanka rambled on about rumors and how hurt she is, but she never flat out denied anything. She said, as far as the discovery of 60 million rupee from my house, neither I had so much of money under my mattress nor have I seen so much of money together in my life. When asked how did she come under IT's radar if she's one of the highest tax paying actors in Bollywood, she claimed it was because she was a big star. Can you imagine? Hey, why did IT raid your house? Oh, you know, it's just because I'm such a big star, lol. Number 4. Priyanka Spa Busted in a Sex Trafficking Ring For the sake of this video not being blocked everywhere, we will keep this part short and PG. Priyanka was caught to be involved in some sort of ring that was being disguised in the form of a spa. This property was busted by the Mumbai Police Department and what did they find? Not only is this property listed in Priyanka's name, the man who she rented the spa to was on the run from the cops. When asked about this, Priyanka claimed to not have known anything that was going on and claimed that she never went there. The funny thing is, Priyanka's mother owns a clinic right next to the spa and has been there multiple times. Many sources told the news that not only was she well aware of what was going on, she was helping that side of business flourish in her own way as well. AKA bringing married men to have a little bit of their own fun. Classic PC. Since I can't go on in full detail about what happened with the spa and why it got raided, head on to ExposingSMG.com where you can read all of the glory in details. Number 5. Being condescending to a person whose country was being attacked by India and then gaslighting them. Before I start this, I am not saying that anyone should be against any country at all mentioned here. But I have noticed that Priyanka added a little bit more to the fire of this topic when it was brought up in public and she seemed very opinionated and close-minded about what was going on. In February 2019, Priyanka tweeted Jai Hind, hashtag Indian Armed Forces, which translates to Long Live India. During this time, Pakistan and India were in a fast escalating nuclear war. Priyanka was later confronted by a Pakistani-American woman named Aisha Malik for being hypocritical about working for peace yet encouraging the Indian army in their war with Pakistan. Aisha Malik said, It was kind of hard hearing you talk about humanity because as your neighbor, a Pakistani, I know you're a bit of a hypocrite. You are a UNICEF ambassador for peace and yet you're encouraging nuclear war against Pakistan. There's no winner in this. She said, and I quote, Girl, don't yell. We are all here for love, don't yell. Don't embarrass yourself, but we all walk that middle ground. Huh? Can you imagine voicing your concerns to someone about war and they tell you, girl, don't yell, don't embarrass yourself? 
To me, it just seems like Priyanka was more on the gaslighting scene rather than the middle ground point. I definitely feel like there was a better way for Priyanka to have answered this rather than seeming like a privileged star who doesn't have to worry about the effects of war. Well, you've made it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought the craziest point was. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.